In this presentation, we're going to look at Dr. Benner's theory, novice to expert. Our group includes Haley Corbett, Giovanna Mandarini, and Mackenzie Weber. Hi everyone, my name is Patricia Benner. I was born in Hampton, Virginia on August 31st, 1942. Shortly after that, my family moved to California. I graduated from Pasadena College in 1964 with a degree in nursing, and in 1970 with a Master's of Science in Medical Surgical Nursing from the University of California. In 1982, I graduated with a PhD from the University of California at Berkeley. I published a total of nine books and numerous articles. I'm currently a professor at the University of California, San Francisco. If it wasn't obvious before, it is obvious now that I love the Golden State. In 1982, I developed my theory from novice to expert. I developed this theory from the Dreyfus model of skill acquisition and adapted to provide a more objective way for evaluating progress of nursing skills. As we move forward, my colleagues and I will continue to talk about the theory in depth. Even though nursing has evolved throughout the years, my theory is still applicable to most nursing settings. I believe that experiences through direct patient care can build the foundation of skilled nursing. Here are a few photos of myself throughout the years, from being a young nurse to getting my doctorate and to professing my theory to others. Analysis of the theory. Dr. Benner based her theory of novice to expert off of Dreyfus' five-stage model of adult skills acquisition. The first step, novice, a new nurse enters into the medical field with no experience and is expected to execute the tasks of the patient care at hand. These nurses are taught about these scenarios in terms of objective attributes, where they learn concepts through textbooks and stimulations and are then expected to execute them in the medical setting. Student nurses are given rules while in school but are unsure how to apply them in real life cases. Advanced beginner is when nurses demonstrate moderately acceptable performance due to experiencing similar situations. However, according to Dr. Benner, novice and advanced beginners can take in a little of the situation. It is too new, too strange. A competent nurse is someone who can make decisions and plan. They are well organized and efficient with the ability to recognize long-term goals of their patients and plan further actions. A proficient nurse has a holistic view and is able to see the overall picture of their patient, providing them with optimal care. The final stage of the novice to expert theory is expert. At the expert stage, a nurse is now able to make decisions independently as well as quickly. He or she has a great amount of analytical skills and no longer requires the use of analysis and rules. According to Dr. Benner, all nurses follow the theory of novice to expert, walking up the pyramid of success. Assumptions. It takes experience for one to become an expert nurse. The individual is required to go through all five stages of learning to reach their full potential, from novice to expert. Dr. Brenner believes that all nurses start at novice level and work their way to expert through the five stages. These five stages are novice, beginner, competent, proficient, and expert. Now looking at the scope and focus of the theory, a middle range theory can be defined as a bridge between grand theories and nursing practice, and it involves limited aspects from the real world. Dr. Benner's theory of novice to expert can be considered a middle theory due to the fact that her theory can be used in numerous scenarios and is highly applicable to many nursing professionals. Dr. Benner's theory was based upon Dreyfus's five-stage model of adult skills acquisition, which could be considered a global theory because it could be related to numerous professions. For example, Tiger Woods was not a golf expert when he started his profession. He was required to follow the five-stage model to become a successful golfer and reach the expert level. However, Dr. Benner's theory is specific to nursing. So for this presentation, a novice to expert can be described as a specific theory. Concepts. Based upon the theory, numerous concepts come about. These concepts include competence, experience, acquisitions, critical knowledge, practical knowledge, and skill. 
The diagram to your right demonstrates how knowledge alone is scattered, but when placed with experience, the once scattered pieces come together. For the purpose of this presentation, we will focus on competence and experience. Identify and explain the content. Non-relational propositions. Non-relational propositions can be defined as the definitions of concepts. Competence is the quality of state of having sufficient knowledge, judgment, skill, or strength. Experience is the fact or state of having been affected by or gained knowledge through direct observation or participation. A relational proposition is used to find a relationship between the concepts, and in this case, it's connected competence and experience. In order to adequately acquire competence, the utilization of experience is required. Development of a related research question. For our research question, we have proposed how much experience does it take for a nurse to become competent, changing from novice to expert? In other words, how long does a nurse remain in each stage? Explicate the meta paradigm concepts. The nursing meta paradigm concepts includes nursing environment, health, and person. Nursing is an individual who is involved with the patient. Person is a patient of the nurse. Health is the factors of the patient that can be assessed. Environment is the situation at hand. So now we're going to look at the application of the theory to clinical practice. In our example, a student nurse is given the task of performing tracheostomy care during simulation lab. And in the following hour, the student is asked to perform the same task on a real patient in a clinical setting. So the student is expected to learn these skills by reading a textbook or through simulation course and then perform them in a real life case. So looking at the four meta paradigms, nursing would be the student or the individual involved with care. The person would be the patient of the nurse. Health would be the factors of the patient that can be assessed, like O2 saturation during tracheostomy care, and the environment would be the situation at hand, which is the tracheostomy care. So during this scenario, let's say the student is unable to complete without dropping O2 sat and needs help from another nurse. She would need to find a nurse of higher level competency, for example, a competent nurse. Significance of the theory. It is more than acceptable to be a novice nurse entering the field for the first time. It can be difficult, and the nurse may feel that they are unaware of what they are doing. As time proceeds, they will gain the necessary experience and confidence that allow for them to become an expert nurse. Parsimony. The five stages are easy to understand due to the fact that they are consecutive and one is unable to skip over any steps. As stated by Dr. Fawcett Parsonomi, focuses on the content of the theory and the statements clarify, rather than obscure the phenomena of interest. We're looking at social utility and significance of this theory. It's very significant for successful and safe patient care. Logical development and clarity. The following are proposed questions related to the development of Dr. Bender's theory. Number one. Are all of the concepts and propositions used consistently? Yes, Dr. Benner's concepts and propositions are used consistently. Both knowledge and experience are common concepts used throughout her theory. Number two, is the theory logical? Yes, the theory is logical. One cannot skip over any steps to reach another. Each nurse touches upon each stage on the way to becoming an expert nurse. Number three, can you follow the theorist's train of thought? Yes, we can follow Dr. Benner's train of thought. Her theory of novice expert entails consecutive steps. Credibility, reality convergence. This theory is practical to use in hospitals. Novice nurses are paired with expert nurses for the first few months of their new career in order to gain a deeper knowledge of nursing and gain more hands-on experience. Conceptual model of testability. A theory is based upon the conceptual model and its testability. The following questions dive deeper into the testability of Dr. Benner's theory. Number one, can the theory be supported with empirical data? Yes, the novice expert theory can be based upon empirical data where nurses get their information from the experiences that they have. Number two, can testable hypotheses be generated from the theory? Yes, numerous hypotheses can be generated from Dr. Benner's theory. 
For instance, as a group, we have considered questioning if individuals who work in the medical field as certified nursing assistants, medical assistants, technicians, etc., who then further their education to become nurses indeed start at a novice level. We hypothesize that people who have worked in a medical setting prior to becoming a nurse do not start at a novice stage. Number three, is there an instrument or tool that was developed to test this theory? Yes, there has been tools that have been used to test the theory that Dr. Benner has proposed. A framework has been developed which looks at the hospital level, such as the environment, the nursing staff, including their education and experience. In addition, the framework analyzes the individual's characteristics, such as their education and experience. Both categories then determine the individual nursing expertise. A journal article that incorporated Benner's theory is called Application of Benner's Theory in an Interactive Patient Care Simulation. This application was done at the University of Maryland Baltimore School of Nursing. The students were given scenarios with unstable patients and used a high-fidelity mannequin to simulate their experience. Benner's concept of learning needs of nurses was applied. The students are considered novice, so knowing that, the simulation was geared toward their knowledge. For example, rather than highlighting all the patient's problems, the students only had to deal with one problem at a time. This simulation lab experience can be easily adapted for nursing education at any simulation lab. Application of Theoretical Frame The concept proposed by Dr. Benner can be used in numerous ways, including nursing research, nursing leadership, administration, and management, as well as nursing education. For this slide, we will focus on nursing education and nursing management. When it comes to nursing education, simulation labs can be utilized in order to mimic real-life scenarios. These simulations can allow for a student nurse to experience what it'd be like in specific cases that could take place in a medical setting. The simulation opportunities could allow for novice student nurses to gain confidence as well as the experience needed to advance to the further stages of nursing. When it comes to nursing management, the Dr. Benner theory of novice to expert could be utilized to categorize nurses based upon their skill and experience level. This type of categorization could be helpful when assigning nurses to different patients who require different levels of treatment. Difficult patient cases could be given to expert nurses who have cared for other patients with similar conditions. The novice nurse could be paired with the expert nurse during these cases so that the new nurse could gain valuable insight from his or her peer expert.